In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct simple main effect analyses in SPSS. Now, just to refresh your memory, the primary reason you'd want to do simple main effect analyses is because you have one or more main effects that are statistically significant, but there's also a significant interaction. And you conduct a simple main effect analyses to determine whether you can interpret the main effect or not. And if you obtain statistically significant main effect results that are consistently in the same direction for one of the independent variables, then you can interpret that main effect. That's the argument I make in the text. So the example I've got here is the video game study. I'll refresh your memory. Statistically significant effect was observed. And if you look at the means, violent versus nonviolent. So looks like violent video games do produce higher levels of aggression. But we don't know if that's true for both males and females. And to interpret the main effect, given that there's an inter interaction that's significant, I have to see that to be true for both males and females in the same direction. So those who play the violent video game did both males and females, on average, produce higher levels of aggression. Now in SPSS, it's not actually, to my knowledge, possible to do the simple main effect analyses through the button pushing approach, you need to do a little bit of syntax manipulation. So in order to conduct the simple main effect analyses, simply reconduct the factorial between subjects ANOVA as you normally would, and then ask for SPSS to give you the syntax in a syntax file. So go into Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, you would have your independent variables in your fixed factors and your dependent variable in your punishment dependent variable box. And then click on EM means if, and make sure that you add your factors and interaction to display means for. Now technically to do the simple main effect analyses, we only need game underscore type by sex. But I'm going to ask for all of them and I'll show you, I'll point out the syntax to you. Otherwise, we don't really need anything more than that. So if you click on Paste, you get this sort of syntax. Now the key piece of information here, there's a line here called EM means equals tables game type by sex. That line of code is incomplete to get the simple main effect analyses. So if you look in the textbook, I've got an extra line of code, or not an extra line, but a fragment of code that needs to be added to the syntax so that SPSS actually conducts the simple main effect analysis. So what's going to happen here is that it's going to compare violent versus nonviolent video game across males and females. And if I see that the violent video game punishment mean is higher for males and females in a statistically significant way, then I can interpret the main effect. Now there's also the main effect of gender or sex. Sex was also statistically significant. But because there's an interaction, I don't know if I can say that males are more aggressive than females. They might only be more aggressive for one condition, violent video game or nonviolent video game. I have to show that they, males are statistically significantly higher as a mean for both the violent and nonviolent video game playing conditions in order to interpret the main effect because there's an interaction that's significant. For me to get those simple main effect analyses, I'm just going to copy this line of syntax and paste it and then I'm going to add sex in this parentheses and then SPSS is going to compare aggression levels across males and females isolated for violent video games and isolated for non-violent video games. So the key portions here are to include these fragments into the syntax. So now that I've got the syntax set up and I've got these key fragments included in the code I can click run and SPSS will calculate the simple main effect analyses for me. So if I scroll down to the output, here's the ANOVA table. I've already looked at that. And here's the estimated marginal means. So here's the game type by sex interaction observed means. And we can see that males and females, males scored higher in aggression levels at the violent video game. But for the nonviolent video game players, there was essentially no difference numerically. Now to the simple main effect analysis, the first table, SPSS tested violent versus nonviolent video game players where their aggression levels higher when isolating just that male. Violent versus nonviolent. And the answer is yes. 
And we know that that mean, male violent, male violet 7.0, and then male nonviolent 4.6 for a difference of 2.41 is statistically significant. Now what about females? Are females also producing higher aggression levels when it comes to a violent video game? So basically I'm trying to interpret the video game main effect. Can I do it? Well, for females, violent versus nonviolent, there is no statistically significant difference. The mean difference of 0.44 is not found to be statistically significant. So isolating across males and females and testing the difference in aggression levels between those who play a violent video game and those who do not, I cannot interpret the main effect of violent video game or video game type because it was only true for males that there was a statistically significant difference. So if we go up to the interaction chart and we can see that violent versus nonviolent, there was in fact a statistically significant main effect, game type, it's significant. But it's only significant because the males pulled up that aggression level for the violent video game condition so much. It's pulling it up for an average that makes it look like, well, maybe it's different for females too, but it's not. This difference here is not statistically significant. So I can't say that violent video games increase aggression levels as a main effect. I have to say, well, it depends on what your sex is. Had this difference been statistically significant when I tested it with the simple main effect, then I would have been able to interpret it because it's in the same direction as the males. So the next main effect is sex. Does sex impact aggression levels irrespective of the type of video game you played? That's the main effect trying to answer that question. So if I see that males scored higher than females, whether they played the violent video game or not, then I can interpret the sex main effect. So let's check it out. So here we have the table where we have isolated at violent video game playing and the difference between males and females is statistically significant, 0 0.005, the mean difference of 1.96. Now what about non-violent video game playing? Do the males also score higher in aggression levels for fem than females? And the answer is the difference was not found to be statistically significant, P.986. So because the difference between males and females at the non-violent video game condition is not significant, I cannot interpret the sex main effect. So in this case, neither main effect could be interpreted. Only the interaction can be interpreted. There will be cases, of course, in practice where you do find the difference to be significant in the same direction across all levels of the other independent variable and when that's the case you can interpret the main effect in the presence of a significant interaction. Now something I'm going to mention here just briefly is that the manner in which I conducted these simple main effect analyses is through the direct ANOVA framework. I modified the syntax to make sure that I was entirely within the ANOVA framework and so the standard error that's estimated for these simple main effect analyses is going to be different than if I calculate a bunch of t-tests as the simple main effect analyses. So let me show you what I mean here. This is just a bit of an extra information because doing the simple main effect analyses this way with the syntax is arguably a more impressive way. So let's just look at it with t-tests to show you that it's not really a very unusual analysis. In fact, I think in the textbook I call it the quick and dirty way to do simple main effect analyses is to do it through t-tests. And I want this to be done for both the males and the females separately. So I need to split the file. Go to data, split file, and compare groups and make sure you have the sex variable in groups based on sex. So SPSS is going to do the analysis separately for males and females. Go back to analyze independent sample t-test and then click OK. So again, I got to define the groups, group one and two, nonviolent, violent, uh, from memory and then click OK. And so here is the t-test results table that isolated at male the difference between violent and nonviolent was found to be statistically significant. And then isolating at female the difference between violent and nonviolent video game is not statistically significant. And that's the same thing we found before based on the syntax simple main effects. In this case the diff results are slightly different and that's because the standard error is being estimated differently. So 
isolating at males the difference between violent video game and not has a standard error of 0.77. But when I go up into the simple main effect analyses with the syntax, isolating at males the difference between violent and nonviolent, the standard error was 0.617. And so I've got a more statistically significant effect doing it directly within the ANOVA framework. And some people argue that that's how you should do the simple main effect analyses, is always do it directly within the ANOVA framework, which requires you to do a bit of extra work with the syntax, but it's not very difficult. If I wanted to do the other main effect, which is the difference between males and females across video game type, I'd have to re-split the file, not across sex, but across game type. Click OK, and then I want to analyze compare means independent sample t-test and this time I want to get rid of that and I want to test the difference between males and females which I think are coded 1 and 2. Click OK and here's the result. I've got isolating at violent video game the difference between males and females is statistically significant but when I look at isolating at nonviolent video game playing the difference between males and females is not significant. Again these results differ slightly from the ANOVA framework analyses which are depicted here. The p-values are a little bit different because the standard error is also different. So that is how you conduct simple main effect analyses in SPSS.